A projectile is an airborne object acted upon only by gravity. Other forces, like air resistance or lift, are not significant. Examples of projectiles include baseballs, when they're in the air, arrows, when they're in the air, footballs, when they're in the air, and golf balls, when they're in the air. If air resistance can be ignored, which it can't be, but when we're first learning something in physics we need to simplify so for objects like that we're going to at this time ignore air resistance. Things that are not projectiles, birds are not projectiles. The forces from the wings clearly significant. Airplanes are not projectiles. Frisbees are not projectiles. A hang glider is not a projectile. Now, we can turn some of these things into projectiles. In fact, this picture with the frisbee, there actually is a projectile in that picture. And it would be this young man right here. He is a projectile. You can see he's airborne. We could turn this bird into a projectile if we were to shoot its head off. Then it would essentially fall as a projectile. Let's talk about horizontally launched projectiles. So here we're going to take a projectile. We're going to launch it horizontally with velocity v sub x from a height delta d. It would, of course, take a path something like that. It wouldn't fall straight and make like the hypotenuse of a triangle. It would fall in some curved path like that. A horizontally launched projectile stays in the air for the same amount of time as a dropped projectile from the same height. What that means is if we were to take this projectile and simply drop it off the cliff, it would go the amount of time that it takes for that projectile to hit the ground here is going to be the same amount of time that the projectile would be in the air when it takes this curved path and lands out here to the right. Why is that? Well, it's because gravity only acts downward. Gravity does not act sideways, so it doesn't speed up this projectile in the x direction, nor does it slow it down because we're ignoring air resistance. So both of them are launched from the same height, that is one that's dropped straight down and one that's launched horizontally. So they're going to stay in the air for the same amount of time whether they're dropped or launched horizontally. V sub x, the x component of velocity, is constant assuming no air resistance. And why would that be? Well, because gravity only acts downward. So gravity is not going to affect the x component. Gravity will affect the y component, but not the x component. A sub x, the acceleration in the x direction, is of course going to be zero. If the x velocity is constant, then the x acceleration is going to be zero. It's not going to speed up or slow down in the x direction because the only force that's acting on this object once it's in the air is gravity, and gravity only acts downward, so ax is unaffected. Vy starts at zero meters per second. When we launch this projectile, its y velocity is zero. It's not moving up, it's not moving down at the very instant we launch it. But it increases, it changes as the object falls. And why would that be? Because gravity acts downward. So gravity is going to affect the y velocity of a horizontally launched projectile, or any projectile actually. Let's review here a little bit with a diagram. Assuming negligible air resistance, horizontally launched projectiles and straight up dropped projectiles stay in the air for the same time. On the left here we have photographs taken of an object that has been dropped and these photographs are taken with equal increments of time. If from that height we were to launch projectiles horizontally to the right and we were to take time-lapse pictures of them, they would look something like that. And each one of those projectiles, the one that's 
dropped and the ones that are launched horizontally. You can see that the red one was launched horizontally with a not very big initial velocity. The purple one was launched horizontally with a rather large horizontal velocity. But all of those projectiles would hit the ground in the same time. Let's summarize horizontally launched projectiles conceptual. Assuming negligible air resistance and ignoring any curvature of the planet's surface, horizontally launched projectiles and dropped projectiles that are launched or dropped from a given height, one, stay in the air for the same amount of time, two, have identical vertical components of velocity at any given time, three, have the same horizontal acceleration, namely zero, and four, have the same vertical acceleration, of course, negative 9.1 meters per second squared on Earth.